What's up guys, KidMartin95 here, and in today's video, we're going to talk about what the hell's going on. Um, so quick, really quick, let's take a look at the markets, refresh the page here. Market cap currently at 200 billion, Bitcoin dominance at 52, Bitcoin's currently sitting at 6,300, wow, what a nasty drop. Um, down 5.5% just for the day. Um, Ethereum of 4%, Bitcoin Cash, the big dog today, check it out. 37% and earlier today this thing was up like 50% I think uh, last time I checked it uh, number four ripple at 20 almost up a percent Litecoin at $62 and 27 cents up almost 4% dash hanging in there at 345 at 3% Ethereum classic 33% Monero up at number eight now currently up 12% 120 Zcash over here at 251 up almost 5% Lumens down almost 3% BitConnect down 6%, almost 7 Waves down 3 But anyway, let's take a quick look at the Bitcoin chart. Actually, before we do that, um, let's look at BitCash really quick. I feel like this is FOMO. I'm sure a lot of you have already seen this on YouTube and just read online. But this is, I feel like people have, you know, FOMO, fear of missing out. Um, I, I was reading earlier today, um, I'm sure some of you have already read, th read this. So, no segwit 2x makes makes Bitcoin cash, shine admits, uh, crypto bloodbath. Many observers expect hot money to flow from Bitcoin to altcoins after segwit 2x hard fork was cancelled. Instead, the entire altcoin market seems to have crashed along with Bitcoin, while Bitcoin cash surges by 55% to reach 992. Uh, you know, 992 is 55%, we're currently at 1351, so as you see um this basically just says um out of all the currencies the only ones that have really gone up are bitcoin cash ethereum classic and dash um but check this out guys this is what really caught my attention bitcoin cash was created on august 1st and its market capitalization has zoomed to 16 billion in three months bitcoin cash is now worth more than twitter which currently has a market cap of 15 billion that's crazy but another article I came across that was actually from yesterday that I didn't see anybody bring up and I found really really interesting um, was Bitcoin Classic such down as staff claim Bitcoin Cash will roll in six months so is this a hard switch uh, you know what's going on so Bitcoin Classic has confirmed it is shutting down as developers claim Bitcoin Cash BCH BCH Will become Bitcoin by May 2018. An official statement Thursday released manager Tom Zander praised Bitcoin Cash said it uh, validatedly meant that Bitcoin Classic has fulfilled its promise. It is now up to you which chain will gain the most traction. It is now up to the next billion people to start to use Bitcoin Cash and as most six months I'm sure we'll just drop the cash and call it Bitcoin he stated. Bitcoin Cash shot up in price over 35% in anticipation of a new hard fork set for November 13th, which will be in two days, reaching its highest value among since its debut. Basically, so then, since then, this has taken off. This was dropped on November 10th. I'm not sure if that was exactly the reason why it decided just to fly. This one, this is the 11th, and now it's the 12th for trading day, but in the US, from California at least, um, this is the 11th, which is today, uh, and then this is yesterday, which was when the article was dropped. Um, I'm not sure if that was the reason it was um, taking off, but that's just kind of an idea that I have. I didn't have an, an analysis for Bitcoin Cash, it's not something I was really watching. Um, where do I expect this thing to go? I definitely expect that the it's gonna fill this wick and go back up to the 1500 level. Um, and after that, not really sure. I I believe this is FOMO. So like as I'm saying, I do expect this. So this wick will fill. We might come up to 17, maybe 2000, probably, possibly the 2000 area. 2002 and come back down to this area and then we'll continue back up 
if there is this heart switched, you know, that that so-called article is saying, um, I'm expecting it to drop, price to drop back to around 720, wow, I can't believe it jumped that high, that's ridiculous, but anyways, I'm expecting it to drop down to the 720 level, and then shoot back up, uh, this is where I'll be looking for an entry, if it doesn't come down to this level, I'm not gonna buy, um, this was just, you know, something that I came across. I wasn't really paying attention too much to Bitcoin Cash, although I should have. Um, but let's go back over to the Bitcoin chart here. And I just want to, let's, so let's see where Bitcoin goes. So I have this, this is my uptrend. Came up, down, up, down, up, down. We broke through here, came back down, tested our support here. This uptrend was not tested up until it made its high of its all-time high here at 7,900. We formed another uptrend here, coming up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, and we're currently testing in to see if this uptrend will hold or if it'll break. Um, if it does break, I do believe we come down to the 5,000 area, maybe 5, 4,950 to 4, 5,200. Um, it could even be a harder drop to the 3,200. I don't think so. Um, but maybe if this hard switch is uh, true, we could see it down to the 3,000, but I really don't think so. The reason I don't think they could, uh, we're, we'll be switching to Bitcoin Cash is because it, it, it's just, it's too much, I feel like. Like, it's not just, you'd have to get all the exchanges to switch, you know, if one of them says no, and, you know, like, it's just too much, I feel like. But anyways, so let's go here at the four chart, four hour chart, sorry. I'll probably just have to make another video on why I don't think we'll switch to Bitcoin Cash. But anyways, so as you can see here, for our chart, this was our support here at almost the 7,000. We broke, tested here, came back down, broke and tested again, and we failed. Currently hanging out at the 6,300 price area. Uh, it's not looking good, guys. Uh, not for Bitcoin, at least, but definitely still, you know, bullish long term. This is just, you know, you know, every, you have to drop, you know, we've gone up how much this year, like 700%, 600, probably 700, I think, maybe 750, 725, correct me if I'm wrong, probably 700. Anyways, um, so definitely time for a correction, you know, still in it for the long term. Lot of indecision right here. I feel like, yeah. We got two rejections there. Rejection. A lot of indecision actually. No, no answers here. Uh, what am I expecting? Let's see. I believe we do break the trend. We'll break this trend. And we'll pro possibly make a bounce here to the 6,000 um, from 6,000 I believe we possibly come back up to 6,600 6,500 you know possibly 700 and from there I believe we continue back down um, to the 5,000 area to at least down here if that doesn't happen I believe Bitcoin would just come down here, and possibly not even down here, maybe just even from here, and just continue its normal path towards the upside, up to its high again, back down, and there we go again, a new uptrend. Those are my two ideas for Bitcoin. Um, I expect this to play out probably within, what do we have to say, Saturday, November 11th, within, I say no later than 
Well, probably by New Year's. By New Year's, definitely this will all be played out. Maybe even sooner. Probably within, you know, a week, two weeks, maybe a month. Possibly sooner, but who knows. Um, but anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, like. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram. Uh, I'll leave the description or my links down below. Uh, comment what you guys think I should do a video on. Uh, thanks for watching. And peace out, guys. Take it easy.